Oh, it's brilliant. It's like, you know, these sort of competitions, it's the further into them you get, the, the bigger the excitement builds in the week. I think, um, you know, there's a real chance of winning some silverware and lifting that. And I think uh, the boys are, boys are excited this week. Obviously, um, it's strange with the way that it worked last week, let's go into this last 16. So we knew it was knockout rugby straight away. Went to Zebra, um, you know, parts of the performance was really good, parts not so good, but we did what we needed to do. We got the win and it's give us a chance to, to, you know, get a home quarter final against London Irish on Friday. You know, it's a strange one, these ones, it's like the, the European double headers. You don't know how much you're going to change, other teams are going to change, I think. For us, um, we've been quite good in terms of injuries, so we've managed to be able to keep selection pretty consistent, hopefully. Um, you know, we'll, there's certainly lots of lessons we learned from the Irish game. We were disappointed massively so with, uh, with the result. Um, you know, obviously that we were in control for large parts of that game and then we let, we let it slip. So there's definitely learnings for us. It's, it's now whether we can put those into place on, on the field. Yeah, look, without the supporters, it's definitely different. Like, um, you know, a Friday night in, on the wreck, lights on eight o'clock, quarter final, you'd, you'd expect an unbelievable crowd and you expect a real good atmosphere. So we'll still have the familiar surroundings of being at the wreck, which is, is an advantage. But in terms of that sort of atmosphere that you, you miss out on, it's, it's down to us, it's down to the players to sort of bring that. And I think, unfortunately, we're pretty used to that now. Um, when the crowds do come back in, it'll be amazing. Um, in the short term, they're not going to be there. So. You know, we'll, we'll certainly build the excitement through the week. It's, it's called a final rugby, so there will be no lack of sort of atmosphere and build in the squad for sure. Uh, yeah, Orlando's been brilliant. He's, he's, you know, we've had a few injuries at 10 and he's come in. He's had, you know, he's had two starts on the bounce now and he would have learnt massively from both of those, I think. His first start as an 18-year-old going against London Irish, he, um, you know, he performed really, really well. Um, then his second start, out, out in Zebra again, it was you know it was a great performance, and I think the, you look at that game. We had him at 18, at 10. We had an 18-year-old in Max uh, at 12, and I think it's it's really good experience with these young boys. They've acquitted themselves well. Um, they're part of this team now. The good thing is they've been you know they've been in the Monks squad for the whole season. They've been you know they've been putting their hands up in training in terms of selection. They have they've had to wait their turn. They've had to wait quite a long time in the season to get a shot, but um, that's the way it goes. We saw early in the season with the likes of Ewan and Ethan coming through. Um, you know, that's, that's four 18-year-old boys straight out of school now who've they've all stepped up and when they've been given a chance, they've performed really well. So I think it's, you know, it bodes well of what the academy boys are doing and these boys are taking their chance and they're stepping up. Yeah, it's good, it good for Jacques to get out there and get a run. It's been, it's tough coming over, I think, any, any sort of environment when you come across half across the world and you, you know, bring your family and come to a new place, but especially when we're in lockdown like we are now, it's, it's you know, he's come over to quarantine for two weeks. Um, he's got a young family, he's, he's moved over. So he's had a lot of little challenges to try and get up to speed and get up and running. And um, to be fair to him, he's acquitted himself really well. He's, he's a great bloke. He's fitted in really well with the squad. And um, he's, you know, he's knuckled down, had a few weeks of training and it was good to get him out on the field for a few minutes. Um, you know, he'll, He'll be involved again on, on Friday and we'll keep building the game time because he's, yeah, I think he can be a real big player for us.